Uh, October 6, uh, 2016. This kitten is around 5 months old. It's uh, adopted. It's a stray kitten. Uh. It's a female. Now, the, the physical examination is important before vaccination because sometimes they are sick and then you vaccinate. Then, of course, the they, effect. they die. No, no, I mean, if they're healthy, they're okay. okay. So, physical examination consists of what's weighing and taking temperature. Now, you can see them because my brain is pink. They look good. Huh? Now, this fellow is fractured. So fractured? No, fractured I means uh, very naughty. Uh. Oh, okay. So, very hard to do more than that. Okay, so the vet should at least check the gums, check the eyes, and check the ears. Uh. Which, which is uh, rather dirty, you know. It's quite clean. You're clean, I guess? Yeah. Okay. So temperature cannot be taken because the cat is uh, naughty. Uh. So <laughs> we have to record down. Now let's check the heart and lungs quickly. And then the owner will, uh, will stroke the cat, pressure oh, her. They have a quick check the heart and lungs. Because you can hear the sounds if there's pneumonia. Then abdominal. That's Oscotted abdominal for intestinal sounds so that you can hear the intestinal sounds so the intestines are moving and you can hear the sounds and then uh, respiratory rate you can observe and count respiratory rate the movement, the chest movement normally oh. of course it's a bit nervous you can see it's faster but uh, normally it should be about 40 to 60 then the, the pulse check the pulse and then they sit very fast one because this cat, this cat is uh, impatient already. Okay, then put down. Then as far as vaccination is concerned, I've done it but I just demonstrate. So the owner will hold the cat and uh, tickle the throat because this is what, what the cat loves. This is the, the, the happy part. Come, coming up. No, they, they love this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what they do? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you tickle. Uh, <laughs> then you, you look at the cat, it's the best. Oh, yeah. And then you make some noise. Uh, uh, so you tickle there, <laughs> then the vet will lift up the skin and take a very fine needle, very fine one, and then of course I already injected just now, so just in. Then the owner should, should, should not stop talking. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, the best is the owner make some noise like, or, uh, then just inject in, uh, inject in, then just finish, then massage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now uh, the second step is to give the wound tablets. Now this is done by my assistant, and so normally. She could stand properly, position herself so that she doesn't get awkward position. So the owners continue again to uh, look at the cat if possible. Ah, okay, there's a certain position she has. No, let the owner hold the cat. Huh? No, wait, 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 let the owner come in first. Come. This is go in front of the cat. The owner will be across the table so the cat can see you. Then go in front. At least the cat can see you. Now we are using the pill popper. Which, which should be for the, for the back, close the mouth, stroke the, stroke the chin. Stroke the chin normally, it should be quite effective. No? Is it in? Ah, and there's an advantage of this pill popper. That's okay. for this type of cat. No? So the owner will have to continue once a week, no? for the next four weeks. This is to get rid of all the intestinal tapeworms and roundworms, or mainly. Okay, that's it, finish.